Um, but now back to your fight. You're going to be fighting Roman Michian. Yeah. Does he bring anything to the fight that you feel could give you any issues? Absolutely. I think Roman's a great fighter. He comes from a great camp. Um, he's a very mentally tough person. Um, and that's the fight I wanted when I spoke with Mike Rush and the guys that called arms. I said I wanted a tough fight. I wanted somebody that has a name, not, you know, GSP. I'm, I'm not ready for that. I'm not in that class yet. I want somebody that can help build me and get me there. I'm still learning. I haven't been fighting for very long. Um, and I need tough fights, you know, equally match fights. So I think Roman has as many problems for me as I do for him. But, uh, you know, my, my heart is, is, you know, can't be questioned. You know, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to give it everything. And I'm, I'm a fans fighter. You know, and that's been another one of my problems in my career is I like to go out there, I like to put on a great show for the fans, and I sacrifice my own health a little bit. I sacrifice, you know, my wins and losses because I'm always trying to be spectacular. W working with Sit Ya Tong and Mark Delagrati, you know, he's taught me how to be spectacular and smart and safe all at the same time. So we have a tremendous game plan uh, for Rome, and I, I think, you know, Three weeks ago, Roman was a lot of trouble. Uh, but as I stand here today, home, you know, and a couple days away from the fight, um, you know, I, I think I, I have the answers to those problems. You know, respectfully, you know, I respect the guy. I like fighting guys. I respect. I don't like fighting, you know, douchebags and jerk offs and things like that. I don't even, you know, I don't like them making money off of my blood. Quite honestly, I like good people. And uh, you know, Roman seems like a great guy. And uh, you know, we're going to go out there and put on a great show for the fans. And uh, you know, we'll, ju we'll just keep moving forward. Can you give us a prediction on the outcome? The prediction, I'm, I'm going to win. Um, I don't know how it's going to be. I have a couple different plans. We have different game plans, different situations, different scenarios. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to win, and I'm going to finish Roman. Um, it's going to be very tough, but that, that's the challenge I put in front of me it is to finish this man. Um, you know that, that that that's why I'm here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, to look for a decision, um, even though you know some people will disagree. Just get the W anyway. I, I don't want that. I, I want a win with a finish. I need to win in spectacular fashion, and that's what drives me. That's what pushes me when I'm on the road. You know, when I'm on the track, when I'm in the gym, all those hours and months, and, and you know, all the sacrifices to go out there and finish my opponents for my fans, for the promoters, and uh, for my legacy, for my career. You know, I want to be an exciting fighter, and you have to finish people to do that. So I'm, I'm going to work my best to do it. Now, if you weren't a professional fighter, this is a question we actually ask everybody, if you weren't a professional fighter or involved in the sport of MMA, what would your profession be? I'd still be a strength coach and a nutritionist. Um, that is my passion. I was doing that for free, and I do it all the time. You know, people have money and they have health issues. You know, I, I, I donate a lot of my time, my energy, um, you know, my knowledge, whatever I can do to help people. Is I want everybody to be healthy and happy and just kind of spread that karma, that goodwill, and just, you know, make it, make it a better place, a better world. And I think life totally changes the healthier you are. You know, it, it's, it's amazing how many doors open. When you, when you wake up in the morning, you put your feet on the floor, you know, today's going to be a great day. I feel great today. Oh, my God, me on my abs. And you look in the mirror, and you just look good and healthy. I just, I want to share that with everybody. You don't have this right here. No, even with that, you can still be that, because every day that gets a little bit better, just 1% yeah. at a time. If we can just 1% better at a time, you know, that's all we can ask for. You know, so let, let's strive to do that. And if I can help people do that, I'm in. You know, it's, it's not about paying bills. It's this money is, is, is fleeting, you know, there, there's much larger things in life. So that's, that's what I would be doing. I'd be helping people and I have the, the talent and the knowledge to do so with nutrition and exercise and things. So that's, that's how I feel I'm, I'm best um, able to serve. Okay. So now on your website, MikeDolceMMA.com, you actually posted that you were looking for a new nickname. <laughs> yeah, I am. Now there's been a couple of posts on there. So myself and a couple other people from the website got together came up with the small list of names that I'd like to read you see what you think you never okay. know maybe that could be the one okay so I got it right here and um, please I hope we got a winner never know maybe they'll announce it at call to arms this weekend maybe when they, maybe when they introduce that's you that's true so your old nickname was skull cracking skull cracking yeah how do you get that nickname actually that was uh when I joined team quest uh, a couple years ago um, I went out there and, and I just brutally knocked out my opponent and uh, the herniated discs in his neck, you have to have spinal surgery, all these things. And it really opened up everybody's eyes to the kind of power that I have. And uh, a couple of my other opponents, I, I've destroyed um, with knockouts, vicious knockouts. And I feel terrible afterwards. You know, during it, I, I just, you know, yeah. I'm in the zone, I see why it, it's really a weird thing. You fighters, you understand. Um, so Tim Hughes, who's a, you know, a famous ring announcer. Uh, he did the IFL for years. Um, he just one day, he's like, he called me, you know, skull cracking. I think my teammates kind of put him up to it. 
But the way Tim would say, he would love to say it, and his voice would sound so great. He has this booming, um, big, you know, deep voice, and he would just go oh, cracking it, and the fans would go crazy, and there's this big pop in the audience. And I'd be a little embarrassed because, unless I'm in the ring or the cage, I'm not really a, a mean person. I think I, I'm a nice person. I try to be a gentleman and a sportsman, and you know all that stuff. So I'm a little embarrassed about it. Um, I mean, it is what I do, but it's not so much what I want to be known for when people just kind of see me and they don't know me as a person. It sounds a little cheesy, but it, it's true. So hopefully you guys have something better for me. Let's see. So, well, we actually saw some of the names that were on there, and Nate Quarry actually suggested one that we like the best, Sweetness. Yeah. And that's based off of your last name, correct? That's based off my, I'm, I'm Italian, like I've said, my last name is Dolce, and Dolce means sweet in Italian. So Nate came up with Sweetness, and I think that's an awesome name. What the problem is, there's a lot of, you know, turds running around this planet, and they, you know, come in like, hey, sweetness. You know, these are, <laughs> these are dudes, men, that are, you know, coming at me, you know, like, like almost hitting on me with it or being uh, sexually uh, in enticing. <laughs> and they kind of ruined it. I think it would have been a great name if there weren't so many homophobes out there, you know, trying to, uh, you know, make an odd, inappropriate play on that. So, you know, the ladies, you can call me sweetness anytime. The dudes, you know, let's stay away from that. All right, so the first name on our list is actually, he posted that Rampage suggested The Hobbit. Yeah, bastard. Yeah, so this is actually in response to The Hobbit. You could be called The Lord of the Ring. Lord of the Ring, okay. Oh, Although, I, I see that, yeah, yeah see? I see that. That's a response. I mean, it's normally a cage, but I mean, whenever That's, you see a ring, it could work, you Absolutely. Know? All right, now the next one is The Paragon, which actually means a model of excellence. Okay. See? And I don't think there's Mike Dolce. Mike the Paragon Dolce. The Paragon. I like that. I don't I think I've lived up to that yet, though. Okay. You know, but that's something I can aspire to. All right. Now, I heard that before you were actually a fighter, you were a tax assessor. I was. Right? Musical right. tax assessor, yeah. So maybe we could do a playoff of that. The tax man coming. The tax man coming. That could work. Yeah. That could work. And then the next one would be the collector, kind of a playoff of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The centaur. Okay. I mean, you know, that even comes with the logo. I mean, Mike Dolce, I don't know. Horse's body, can you imagine that? Yeah. You know, the ribs, you know? That'd be okay. t shirts because we sell them like crazy. Tinker, that's all about selling. Yeah. Selling. The body snatcher. Okay, let's explain that. Is it just. You're collecting bodies when you're in the room. bodies. Okay. You know? It sounds a little creepy too. My guys a little might get creepy. Scared, you know? My, my good friend Brian Talbert, Lunchbox, maybe could design a shirt for that. A little Hollywood action back here? A little Hollywood action. <laughs> 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 just a little bit. All right. Well, this one, I, I mean, this one, I don't know. For, with me, it kind of just sounds great. But okay. uh, Mike broke you, don't you? Broke you? That's odd that you would come up with that. How I think that? that is awesome. That might be the name. Mike broke you, don't you? I mean, you get in there and you just break guys down, you know? That and could, you already have a shirt for that made up. Well, we already have shirts, you know? How about that? Broke you, huh? That could work. Now, the last one is personally my favorite. Okay. Play off your last name. Mike the Candyman, don't you? And we could throw in a slogan, serving sweet ass kickings 24-7. That could be the one. That could be the one. That'd be a big shirt. It'd be like paragraph. But. And at the same time, people think the horror movie with the candy man. So I mean it could be sweet, scary. All candy, of the above. All of the above. So well, we could do that. Well maybe, you know, everybody watching this can chime in on the website. And, and you, uh, or if they have suggestions, you can go to MikeDolceMMA.com, sign up, and then uh, give you their suggestions. Yeah, please. I got a you know big forum topic. Lots and lots. It's amazing how many people come up with things. There's some oh, great yeah. ones on there. We just haven't settled it yet. I'm going to have a, a vote and probably give away like a free three-week diet or something, one of my books, to uh, whoever you know, comes up with, with the winner. But we're still working on it. Well, there you go. You can not only help Mike Dolce pick out his nickname, but you can end up looking like Mike himself, you know? Look at that. See, I lift up my shirt, but you guys would get scared. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you for your time, Mike, and Absolutely. hope everything goes for you well in your fight and your career. Thank you very much. And everyone, make sure to check out Broki.com for more interviews and Mike Dolce Mimay for more information on Mike. Thank you, guys.